Hello, this is Chemistry Central Science, 11th edition. We're in chapter two on atoms, molecules, and ions, and we're in the end of the chapter questions, question number 43. Write the empirical formula corresponding to each of the following molecular formulas. All right, so a molecular formula is the combination of elements with the numbers of each that's in a molecule, okay, that's in that actual molecule. So in the case of these guys, this should be a subscript here too. In the case of these guys, um, Al2Br6, aluminum, there's two aluminums, six bromines in that molecule, okay? Uh, aluminum bromide. C8H10, there's eight carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms in one molecule of octane. Right, so they're asking for something a little bit different. They're asking for the empirical formula, and empirical, an empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio of elements. Okay, so we're looking, we're looking for. Uh, a number that the highest number that will go into 2 and 6. Okay, so Al2Br6, 2 will go into 2, 2 will also go into 6. So in the case of A, we're just going to reduce it down. So this is going to be AlBr3. That's the empirical formula. Okay, what's the highest number that can go into 8 and 10? All right, it has to be two, so that'll be C four H five, and you'll see once it's an empirical formula, there isn't they're all um, they're all as low as you can reduce. There isn't any further reductions. C I've got a four an eight and a two, so that would be a two, so it'll be C two H four. O. Okay. D is P four H O ten, so that would be two. So this would go down to P two O five. E, I'm looking for a six, a four, and a two, which is two. So it would be C three H two C L. And remember if you just say C L one, you just put C L. And the last one. B3N3H6, 3 will go into all those, so B reduces down, N reduces down, and H2. So these would be the empirical formulas of the molecular formula that you saw before. Now, it's easy to go this way. If you have the molecular formula, you can easily do the empirical, but if you're given the empirical, you have no idea of what to multiply. So you reduced, you simply looked for the lowest number and reduced it by that number. I don't know what the molecule would be. You'd have to give me the weight of that molecule for me to make a guess of what the molecular formula would be if I start with, a, with an empirical. And we'll, we can cover that, that uh, road some other time.